Oh, hello. Welcome to our home. Come on in. My name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland and I live in the city of Leiden in the Netherlands. In this video, you'll get to see a tour of our apartment. We have lived in this apartment now for three years and it has been great. The apartment is right in the city center of Leiden. The street we live on is a relatively quiet walking street with cute little shops like a homeware shop, yarn shop and a tea shop. We have a grocery store right next to our apartment and a nice big city park less than a five minute walk from us. We live on the second floor of an old typically looking Dutch house. And when I say old, I mean old. This house dates back to the 18th century and what we been told it used to be a weaver's house. Because it's so old, it's even marked as a monument, meaning you're not allowed to tear it down. The apartment is 55 square meters big and for the first two years living here we paid 1200 euros in rent and for the third year 1250 euros. This price also includes water and electricity. So when entering our home you first come into this big hallway that we share with our neighbor. We also have this storage room. It's a mess in there though, so I'm not gonna show it right now. Yeah, don't mind this. There's been a renovation slash painting thing going on and I've been waiting for them to finish it so that I can film this video, but I'm running out of time, so <laughs> no can do. And yeah, this hallway is nice because it's also the perfect place where you can store your bikes and then our apartment is here, up the stairs. This is what it looks like when you enter in. Unfortunately, today when I'm filming, it's a bit of a gloomy day, so it's looking very dark. There's not really an entrance hall in our apartment, so we had to come up with some kind of solution. So we bought this like clothing rack from Ikea, where you can easily get your jackets and your shoes, and it has worked out pretty well. We also have this cabinet from Ikea that we absolutely hate because it has broken down so many times and in order to fix it we'd have to use some screws making it look very very ugly but oh well. When you enter you can find the kitchen right on your left side. I really like our kitchen. I like the black matte color of it. I think it looks very sleek and even if it's an old apartment the kitchen is very modern and I think it's been done not long before we moved in here. The kitchen table that we have we actually bought a second hand and painted it and actually a lot of the furniture that we have we have bought second hand. And then our kitchen chairs, I think we bought from Yisk. In the kitchen, we of course have a fridge and we actually got this fridge as a part of the apartment, which is not always a given in the Netherlands. It's quite common here to rent apartments without fridges. And this fridge also has a little freezer inside. So yeah, that is definitely a plus. We actually also have a tiny dishwasher. The only negative thing that I would say is that because of the matte black color in the kitchen, it tends to look a bit greasy and dirty very easily, even though we try to clean it quite often. But yeah, any water drops or grease stains will pretty much immediately be visible. But other than that, I have really liked our kitchen. First thing that probably catched your eye in this apartment is the ceiling, because our ceiling is turquoise. I remember when I first saw pictures of this apartment, I thought that the color of the ceiling was a bit weird, but once I saw it in real life, I immediately fell in love with it. And now I'd say it's probably one of my favorite parts of the apartment. We also then decided to make the turquoise color a bit of a color theme in our apartment. The ceiling is also very high, making the space feel bigger. Another cool detail of this apartment is the floor, as it's white marble, which apparently is a bit of a trademark for a lot of apartments in Leiden. And then we have the living room.
The couch that we have, we bought from Yusk and it's been great, but now after three years of using it, it is slowly starting to break down a little bit but it is very, very comfortable. What's great with this couch is that you can actually make it into a bed, which has been perfect when we have friends and family visiting, especially when I have people visiting me from Finland. Let me demonstrate. So we pull this out like this, like this. And ta-da! This wooden coffee table is also something that we bought secondhand. And honestly, I think it is my favorite piece of furniture that we have. This painting that's been visible in a lot of my videos in the background was actually painted by my boyfriend, Rul. I think he is such a talented painter. This is something he painted just to kind of for fun and to try it out after not painting anything in five years. These two big windows that we have are also so beautiful and I really like the big window sills that it has. Another thing I really like about this apartment are these like built-in bookshelves we have on both sides of the windows. If you want to see what I looked like as a kid, here is a photo of me and my brother. In this corner, I have what I like to call the reading corner. We have this cute turquoise chair that is looking a bit blue on the camera right now, but I swear it is turquoise. And yeah, then we have this little lamp that we actually also bought secondhand for five euros. So that was definitely a good find. Here behind me we have a corridor that kind of like separates the living room slash kitchen from our bedroom that is there behind and it makes the apartment feel a bit bigger than what it is. So here in the corridor the first thing you see when you turn left is actually a washing machine and also our vacuum cleaner and <laughs> clothing rack and that kind of stuff. But yeah, this washing machine actually came as a part of the apartment, which is definitely quite a luxury here. And yeah, I don't think most apartments here in the Netherlands come with a washing machine. It's usually something that you need to buy yourself. If you follow the corridor, like said, you will get to our bedroom. But before that, we actually have our bathrooms. In here you can see our bathroom with our toilet and a very very tiny sink. This sink is a little bit annoying to be honest because every time you try and wash your hands water splatters everywhere and it's a bit of a mess. What I do really like about this bathroom is like the color scheme so like the beige walls and floor. I think that looks very nice. And then we have our shower room separately, which is great when you are two people living in an apartment. The only bad thing I would say is that the water pressure isn't the best, but that's a bit something that can be expected in an old apartment like this one. And then we come to our bedroom. To be honest, I feel like we were a bit lazy when it came to decorating this room and we never quite finished it. For example, I would have loved to have a painting hanging above the bed or a mirror. And yeah, I don't know, more color in this room. It's, I don't know, it's, it's okay, but it could have been better for sure. Another thing that's been a bit annoying is all the cables that we have. Unfortunately, my work computer needs to be always directly connected into the internet with a cable and yeah, because of that, we've had to put a cable running through the whole apartment, basically. I'm sure it could have been done in a way that looks a bit prettier, but yeah, it, it is what it is. So the reason why I am now sharing this apartment tour with you guys is because we are actually moving out from this apartment soon. Actually, by the time you will be seeing this video, we will have already left this apartment. And yeah, because of like privacy, 
issues I couldn't and didn't want to share it beforehand. It feels a bit bittersweet to soon leave this apartment as we really enjoyed living here and have some great memories from here. But also at the same time, we are also starting to feel a little bit like we've outgrown this apartment even though we really do like it. We feel like we would want to have some kind of like outside area, so a balcony or a little yard or something. And we also feel like we would need at least one more room so that I wouldn't have to work from the bedroom. And maybe if we have guests, we could then have a separate room where the guests can stay and that kind of stuff. This is just a part of life and it is time to move on. It's now the evening time and I still want to show what this apartment looks like in the evening time because I think it becomes so cozy, especially when you put on some ambiance from the TV and we turn on all the candles and stuff. And yeah, it is definitely a very cozy vibe here. Always when we have people visiting us, people always say, oh wow, it's so cozy. Like that's the first reaction people have. But yeah, let me show you what it looks like. And that concludes this little apartment tour. Let me know down in the comments. Um, do you think the price is fair? How do you like the apartment? Anything that's on your mind, really. I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you want to join the journey and see also videos in the future, remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye-bye.